Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What if I were to ask you what a trumpet sounds like? You'd probably be able to mimic the sound in your head. It's boo boo boo, right? Same goes for a violin or a piano. We as humans can recognize the timbre of most musical instruments, or at least the famous ones like the trumpet, the flute, the saxophone, you name it. Yet if I were to ask you what an electric guitar sounds like, you might not be able to come up with a sound as instinctively. You might think of a certain guitar solo and perceive that as the sound. And that to me is the beauty of an electrically amplified instrument, specifically an electric guitar. Now, the electric guitar produced some of the most iconic sounds ever. And I am willing to bet that your favorite piece of modern music also involves this instrument. Some of the songs include Smells Like Teen Spirit, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Seven Nation Army. Believe me, I had the hardest time narrowing it down to these few songs. There are countless of other songs that made use of the electric guitar, from the Beatles to the Arctic Monkeys. This instrument revolutionized 20th century music, being present in almost every single modern genre, like jazz, rock, pop, funk, and blues. From the melancholic 12 bar blues to the heavy metal shredding in the past few decades, the electric guitar did it all. It truly is hard to imagine what music would be today without the electric guitar. Before the electric guitar, there wasn't rock and roll, there were no sold out stadiums, and if it wasn't for the electric guitar, there wouldn't have been revolutionary bands like the Beatles. Now it's time to address the elephant in the room. How does a block of wood with a few pieces of strings manage to produce such a wide array of sound? You see, whilst an electric guitar does undeniably look like a block of wood with a stick attached to it, it is so much more than just that. Its working principle is incredibly complex and sophisticated making use of electrical engineering and involving various fields of physics like waves and electromagnetism. To understand the uniqueness and the beauty of the electric guitar, you have to know a little something about physics. I know, physics. Boring, right? But I promise you wouldn't think about it this way after knowing that physics isn't just about why the apple hit Newton's head. Whilst the physics behind the electric guitar is incredibly complicated, it is still possible to appreciate it by just knowing some fundamentals. Let's first dive into some history. It was in the early 20th century that ideas for an electrically amplified guitar started to emerge, as larger crowds showed up for band performances and gigs, and as the loud drumbeat was covering up the sounds produced by the acoustic guitar, the idea for a more powerful guitar emerged. You see, whilst an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar both have six strings, the way they produce sound is completely different. Like the violin, the acoustic guitar amplifies the sound waves produced on the strings through the resonance of a hollow body. That, however, is not the case for an electric guitar. On the electric guitar, there are these little components called pickups, and around these pickups there are magnetic fields. With a pluck of a string, the field is distorted, creating a voltage. That is the opposite of how an electric motor works, where a voltage is converted into magnetism. The voltage created can then be connected to a speaker, allowing the pluck to be amplified. This is what allows an electric guitar to be heard all over a stadium. Now, sounds are in fact just waves. And a single note can be represented by a perfect sinusoidal wave. Very pretty and tidy, just like this. And notes of higher pitches get squashed. Now here comes the fun part though. Have you ever wondered why a violin sounds different from a piano, which in turn sounds different from a trumpet? You'd instinctively answer, that's because they're different instruments. Well, that doesn't sound too physics-y. For a more scientific answer, let's look at the waveforms. Here is the waveform of a violin, the waveform of a trumpet, and the waveform of a piano. You'll notice that the waveforms look completely different from each other. And it's because of these different looking waveforms that the ultimate waveform looks different from each other, giving it a varying tone and timbre, and thus a different sound. What causes these deformed waveforms is the overlapping of good looking sinusoidal waves which can be found through an incredibly delicate and beautiful mathematical operation called the Fourier transform. Fourier transform are mathematical operations often taught in the last year of a university physics degree. Isn't it incredible how such a seemingly simple operation can be represented by such complicated maths? Now you may be wondering why we're getting good looking sinusoidal waves overlapping on top of each other when we play just one single note. These are in fact called harmonics, and it's because of the fact that different instruments produce different harmonics that the final waveform looks subtly unique. For an electric guitar, 
the waveforms can be processed by effect pedals. With an overdrive pedal, the perfect sinusoidal wave can be distorted, giving it a dirty noise. Unlike instruments like the violin, which have their own unique timbre, the electric guitar with effect pedals is essentially a library of timbres, an arsenal of instruments. Now after all, why did I tell you all this about the electric guitar? In a world where we can stream music easily on our mobile devices, we don't often take time to appreciate how the music came to be, how each instrument works together to harmonize the piece of music, and more specifically, how each individual instrument works. Why do they even sound different from each other? As a music enthusiast, I have learned to appreciate the beauty of the electric guitar whilst I was binging to rock music in the past few months. I asked myself, how was this genre relevant all the way from the 1950s to the early 2000s? Whilst there must be some cultural reasons behind, the versatility of the electric guitar was one of the major reasons. Each musician rocking their signature tone, ultimately diverging rock music into many subgenres. And as a physics enthusiast, I've also started to investigate how the electric guitar can produce such diverse sound. Just like how automobiles started to replace horses in the 1910s, the transition from classical instruments to electrically amplified instruments is yet another sign of a scientific revolution, with discoveries like electromagnetism and electromagnetic induction. Electrically amplified instruments were bound to be invented sooner or later. It just so happened that the electric guitar was what revolutionized music of the 20th century. It truly is hard to imagine what music would be today without the electric guitar. We would still be listening to classical pieces in the 19th century, wouldn't we? The beauty of the electric guitar lies not only in its frisality and its ability to play all sorts of music. It also lies in the fact that it embraces improvements in technologies and ultimately revolutionized music. This instrument truly is a sign of times, and I hope you can play your favorite piece of music with it when you're free. Thank you.